today I'm gonna walk you through how to do buttonholes. I avoided buttonholes for a really long time because they just seemed really scary, really overwhelming, but um, it's actually not that hard. You just gotta adjust some settings and um, once you get the perfect settings, um, they're super easy. I'm gonna be working with the Singer Heavy Duty, I believe it's 4113, 4112. Um, if you're a beginner, I highly recommend this machine. It's a great price. It uh, does everything that you could need it to do. Uh, when I was starting out, I was even um, making pajamas and t-shirts and sweater rompers with this. Um, there's, you could just do everything with this. I make scrunchies on this. I do my wovens on this. So I highly recommend this machine. So, this machine came with a whole lot of accessories and an awesome little box thing to put them in. So this is a buttonhole foot. I don't actually use buttons a lot, but I do um, use buttonholes. Like today, I'm going to be putting putting buttonholes in the Lowland knotted overalls. I prefer that over the grommets. I just think it's easier. Um, you could also use them for um, drawstrings on shorts, you know, anything like that. So because I'm not using an actual button, I'm going to take a nickel because that's about the size that I want. And I'm going to put it inside the actual buttonhole maker and that is how the machine knows how big to make the buttonhole. So it just fits in like that, push it down to secure it, fits in, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take out my other foot, there's a little lever on here. Each machine is a little bit different. I'm going to, sorry, might have to lift this up a little bit more so I can get that under. It's hard to do it with one hand. There we go. Oop, snap that into place. All right, and on this machine, there is a lever down here, it's not the threading lever, uh, lever, it's right behind it. Pull it all the way down and then push it back. And so for settings, your tension, you're gonna wanna have it on a three. Um, I prefer the stitch length on a five. That gave me, I think, the best looking buttonhole. For the length, um, you're gonna to wanna to put it right here on this buttonhole symbol. So it's right here in the middle of the one and the zero. For your stitch type, there is also a buttonhole symbol. Make sure you have it selected. And then we're gonna get started. Okay, so I am working with MLA, always MLA. Um, the heavy double brush poly. And again, I am doing the Lowland knotted overalls. So I have them all constructed. Um, I also put um, iron-on interfacing on the front bib like it suggests. So I'm going to take the measurements that it suggests and make little marks for where I want my buttonholes to be. Okay, so I've made my marks on my fabric. I used the Madame So um, fabric pins. Um, they're supposed to disappear when you put them uh, under heat, like iron them or wash them. So this is the first time I'm using them. I really hope that they actually do work. <laughs> so I'll let you know about that another time. So make sure we have this lever pushed back. We're gonna move this top thread out of the way. It's okay that it's on top. We're gonna cut it later, so it really doesn't matter. All right, and so another tip 
for making buttonholes on knit because sometimes they don't like to go um, through the machine. They get caught and stretched out. I take copy paper and I put it underneath where I'm going to do the buttonhole. And that way it moves the way it's supposed to and you can just tear it away at the end. So I'm making sure that that is underneath. Move that thread out of the way so it doesn't get caught. Making sure that paper is underneath there. And I'm going to look through that little hole so I can see where I made my mark. Put my foot down and I'm gonna start sewing. Now it's gonna do some um, stay stitches first before it starts. And it's always gonna start on the bottom of the buttonhole. And I'm not gonna touch it. And see, it's moving by itself. little um, lever that makes it um, start to come back and I'm gonna watch it come back Once it gets back to that starting point, I'm going to stop, make sure that the needle is up, raise the presser foot and gently pull that out. And there is a buttonhole. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, and so to make the hole in between here, I fold it over, make sure it's even. And then I take something really sharp. These aren't actually as sharp as I would like them to be. I should probably get some new ones. And I really carefully just kind of snip to start a little hole there. And then I'll open it back up and continue. Do not cut any of the threads. And I'll just kind of snip and make an opening. See, there you go. I'm gonna do the same on this other side. Really having to get in there. These scissors are super dull. But there, I made a little hole. I did, it looks like pop some of the the threads, but that's okay. There we go. So here is the finished product. I pulled those straps through and knotted them. And I just love, love how that looks and I'll wash that or iron it out. That mark there. There you go. Super easy. If y'all have more questions, um, feel free to put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Thank y'all.